in the tropical countries just to keep the plants warm or to give them enough temperature they are kept in a glass house and that is called greenhouse now on the earth also greenhouse effect is coming there are certain gases which are called greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane these gases are creating this effect why because you see carbon dioxide is able to trap heat you know the heat goes up due to radiations whatever heat is coming down it is getting reflected and going out but the carbon dioxide molecules they trap this heat and not let it go out and as a result there is increase in temperature which is also called global warming global warming does not only mean that we will feel hot it also means that glaciers and the ice caps will melt when they will melt sea level will increase when the sea level will increase there will be less land so all these effects are going to be there of the greenhouse effect as it is called so again what is the way out we have to control the emission of carbon dioxide we have to maintain the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide we have to control the increase of population we have to control deforestation we have to grow more plants so that more and more carbon dioxide can be utilized and oxygen can be released all these practices are called sustainable practices so the need of the art is not to stop using things the need of the art is to have sustainable practices to have habits which conserve conserve does not necessarily mean being miserly it also does not mean that you are poor it means you are aware you are sensitive to your environment and you are a conscientious world citizen where you are aware that if you will not take steps today tomorrow your next generation will have no resources will be living on a land which is barren without water without oxygen so will there be life on earth and if there will be no life on earth will earth remain a unique planet that we boast of today